Hey there, Cowboats! Uh, welcome back to my corner of the internet. Today, the new Horse Expansion Pack came out for The Sims 4 today, so that is what I'm going to be playing today. So I'm just going to start a new game. I don't really feel like making a brand new household just to play the new Horse Pack, so... I am just... I'm just going to use this family I've had for a while. And yes, that is supposed to be me as a cowboy, don't judge. Anyways, uh, let's just, let's just add a horse. Well, that is, that is certainly an interesting horse. I've never seen a horse with pastel purple hair before, but I guess there's a first time for anything. Well, that is certainly a horse if I've ever seen one. Definitely a unique one right there. And they shall be aggressive, needy, and brave. <laughs> yes, that is that is the perfect mixture for a horse right there. And their name shall be Parfait. Because I don't know, that's that's the first thing I thought of. You know what, Ashley, maybe we should add a second horse. Just to make things a little bit difficult for us here. Well, I said I was going to make another horse, but I don't even know if this one could be considered one. Because, quite frankly, it looks like it was drawn by someone who had a vague description of what a horse looks like. Oh, well, I guess I'm keeping this one, too. This one will be friendly, mellow, and... A bit defiant. Yeah, that's definitely a good horse right there. I'm just gonna call this one Zebra Cake, because... Why not? To be perfectly honest, the only reason why I added that horse was for the same reason why we keep Peter around. And it's just so it has a bit of extra money to our starter fund. Uh, we don't really need drugs right now. We've... We've already got plenty right here. And it is awfully nice of them to give us a horse tutorial right as we start, but... I don't really need that, because obviously I know more than them. Whoa, perfect! What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> eh, she can do whatever the hell she wants. Well, here is our shitty little house. And as you can see, it is quite bare bones. But I really didn't want to spend too much money on this part, so... I also built some sort of, um, barn thing for the horses, I guess. We really didn't have any space to build a room for Peter, so he is just going to sleep outside with the horses. Which is a luxury if you ask me. Because, I mean, who wouldn't want to wake up to a horse staring at you? I mean, I sure definitely would. Oh no. Peter, what are you doing? Peter, what are you going to do to the horse? Oh, he's telling a joke to her. Yeah, she- I'm sure she appreciated it. And now he's immediately going to troll the forums. This is just classic family guy, right here. Oh wow, yeah, Parfait, Parfait is a bit of an asshole, isn't she? Parfait doesn't have a job. Yeah, I, I sure do wonder why that w might be the case. Wow, this is, this is such riveting gameplay. Everyone is on their phones while... The third one is on the computer. Ah, oh, shit, did the horse just come into the house? <laughs> Aww. Zebra K just wanted some attention, so that's why he came inside. When I said I wanted to live with the horses, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but... Hey, I guess I'll take it. This is just truly immersive right here. Peter is just so small. Holy shit, Donald Thor, what the fuck did they do to you? <laughs> what? This is a family-friendly channel. We don't- we don't do that kind of stuff around here, ma'am. Wait, send everyone home? What does that do? Whoa! Whoa! What happened to my horse? 
<laughs> well, I'm not doing that again. Or maybe I should, because everyone is leaving now. Most people would be calling the exorcist, but I'm saying no. I think we should leave the demons inside of this horse. I'll take anything to scare people away from my house. You know, I want to see- wait. Who the fuck just shit in my house? Ah, uh, whatever, it's free money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, is the horse in the bathroom now? <laughs> well, it's good to know, this bathroom is big enough to fit two people and a horse. That is something I never knew I needed. Oh, oh. Looks like Perfect is finally being nice for once. It better stay that way or I swear to God I'm sending you to the glue factory. Oh no, she's getting ready to bite him now. <laughs> well, that was nice while it lasted. Oh, that is just so cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so caught up in this whole horse thing that I completely forgot the other part of this pack. You can buy goats and sheep in this. And ho holy shit, the black sheep are 2,000 simoleons. I don't really get it, but... Eh, what the fuck, I'm buying all of them. Wait, don't tell me I can only place the animals one at a time. <laughs> this is gonna take all night! <laughs> oh no. Oh no, the goat hates me. I don't understand, what did I even do wrong? <laughs> well, that's the rest of our goods and sheep. Some may call it irresponsible spending, but... I call it an investment. Oh, would you look at that? Perfect just woke up. The first thing she does is come into my house and bite at me. Now that is just... That's just some classic parfait behavior right there. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at the sheep! I don't think I even need to play the, as a Sims. I can just watch these sheep all day. <laughs> They're trying to surround him. <laughs> This is certainly awkward. I'm sure this guy definitely came over to find something spicy, but instead all he finds is a house full of goats and sheep. But in my opinion, I think that's a lot better than whatever he's wanting. <laughs> oh, just like all of them just gathering in the kitchen there. <laughs> oh. Now, this is definitely a house I would want to live in. Hey, Peter, so listen, it's a long story, but my family's in a bit of a pickle right now, and we need a place to stay for a bit. You have extra places to sleep, right? Uh, yeah, sure, you can just come on right over, right? I'm sure the other two wouldn't mind. Well, I have absolutely no idea where they're going to sleep, but I wish them the best of luck. Well, that's- that's just nice. You just took a shit right in front of our guests. Well, I sure do hope that they're enjoying their stay. Wait, can I open their suitcases right in front of my guests? I'm sure they wouldn't mind, right? I mean, we just want to make sure that they're not, like, hiding anything illegal in them. Oh, I could just take their suitcases with me. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Oh, there are... I can only sell them for zero simoleons. But I guess it's not like they had all their clothes in it, right? I'm sure they could just wear whatever they have on their back at the moment. <laughs> I don't 
know why, but that that just does not look right. It looks like Peter's just breaking his spine just to milk a goat. Oh, he just came up for more. And you know what we should put all that money into? Buying more goats and sheep. Because that is exactly what this family needs. Oh, why do you just look at all of these animals? Aren't they all just so cute? I mean, it's definitely going to be a pain in the ass to milk and share all of them, but... Honestly, it really gives a shit about that. They're just cute, okay? Oh, they're so sleepy. Aww. It's always so nice to see Parfait being actually nice for once. And not biting at everyone. That's <laughs> close enough. Peter remembers when a nearby horse almost bit him. Wait, wait, they have... Does that mean he has a cinnamon with the horse? I don't think they added cinnamons with the other pets, did they? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he has a bitter cinnamon about Parfait. Oh, this is something I never knew I needed. Oh, look at the sheep. Hey, what the hell? What the fuck? This one just went to sleep in Peter's bed. No way in hell did it just automatically assign her to Peter's bed. Peter, can you believe this shit? We gotta go wake them up to show them who's boss. Wake up. This is my bed, not yours. There we go. Now we show them who's boss. <laughs> yeah, you go find your own bed, you asshole. Yeah, we, we certainly weren't lying when we said that we had extra beds for them. <laughs> oh god, don't tell me you're coming over here to complain about no beds. <laughs> I mean, come on, you literally saw the state of our home when you came over during the welcome wagon. I don't know what you expected. Oh, jeez. Perfect, be careful where you're pointing your, that horn. Oh jeez, she, she just stabbed him in the head. Girl, you need to get out of here before you accidentally kill someone. I really just love how, how Parfait just comes into the house just to torment her owners. Because that is just PTR horse interactions. Well, I guess this person has finally found a loophole. And that is to just get into the bed as soon as Peter is out of it. Now that I think about it, you shouldn't be able to participate in horse races in this pack, shouldn't you? At least, I know you could do that in The Sims 3, but... Well, this is The Sims 4, they they change a lot of themes here. And that includes splitting up cats and dogs and horses into two separate packs. Well, unfortunately, Zebra Cake is kind of, well, shit at everything, but... I guess it wouldn't hurt to try to enter this thing. And if we end up losing, then... Well, we can always fall back on... Oh. <laughs> well, not the kind of fallback I had in mind, but we can always fall back on whatever my husband made from his job. And I just noticed that we literally just vanish into thin air. Well, talk about immersive gameplay right here. I wish all video games did that. You just disappear to do something. And once again, Parfait just had to take fat shit on her floor, because why wouldn't she? Oh, They're just so much cuter up close. Why did everything freeze all of a sudden? Oh, it's because we we lost the competition. Oh, poor Zebra Cake. He he definitely tried his best. Wait, can I just lock my guests in the bathroom? I mean, I'm sure they won't like starve to death in there, right? Although I might have to move the plumbing out of there, but this is only temporary. There we go, they can enjoy their entire vacation right in that little room. Oh, I even got a little extra space to put up the stylus board. 
Wow, our guests so sure are helpful, aren't they? I'm glad that they decided to come over and stay. Huh? Well, I don't know how, but this one managed to pull out a bowl of chips while she was trapped in the room. And she just put it on the floor. <laughs> well, here's hoping that the pit dishes pile up so that way they can just die from the stench. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Parfait just welcomed him home. Like the good little unicorn she is. And here I thought that she could never get along with any sim, but here she is proving me wrong. Well, I guess this just about sums up this new expansion pack. It is certainly something if I do say so myself. In any case, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for free goats.